In the Viking Age, not many people lived in Stockholm. It was just a big swampland back then. But uh, they lived in the area surrounding Stockholm, in uh, Birka for example. But most importantly, they lived here, in Sigtuna. Sigtuna is Sweden's oldest still remaining town, and it was founded in 980 AD. The area around Sigtuna has the world's highest concentration of rune stones, and there's an amazing Christmas market, but uh, yeah, it's not really the season for it right now. And Sigtun also has Sweden's smallest town hall. Let's see what else we can find in Sigtuna. There are some amazing stores along these streets. For example, the cutest little candy store I've ever seen. I love it. I would have wanted to buy everything, but I'm not here to shop candy, unfortunately. And what about this cafe where you can have a cup of coffee in a 17th century house? That's pretty brilliant and so many cool details. Is it just me or is that doll looking terrified? This is Gröna Ladan, the green barn. It's a tiny cinema that's almost 100 years old and it has seating for 80 people. Sigtuna was founded by Erik Segersell, one of the first kings in Sweden. He basically stood here in 970 AD and said, yep, this is where Sigtuna will be. And it's been here ever since then. Adam of Bremen, a famous old historian, also said that Erik Segersell ruled over Denmark as well as Sweden but it's a little bit untrustworthy. You see, for some reason, Adam didn't really like the Danish king, Sven Forkbeard, so he did everything to write bad things about Denmark, and maybe this was just a propaganda attempt. This is Sigtuna Town Hall, the smallest town hall in all of Sweden. 300 years ago, Sigtuna was really poor after lots of wars and famine and stuff like that. And the new mayor, who started in 1737, he noted that the town hall looked horrible. I need to do something about this. He started a project to raise funds and ask people to pitch in in various ways. And eventually, in 1744, the new town hall was completed. And the result after all that work was this tiny little town hall that still stands here today. Sigtuna has not one, not two, but three famous church ruins. This is St. Olaf's church, or well, what used to be St. Olaf's church. Olaf was king of Norway in the 11th century and he tried to make Norway Christian. And that's why they ran him out of the country in 1028. For all his efforts he was made a saint at least, and they named this church after him. On to the next ruin, this used to be St. Lars's church. And uh, yeah, there's a bit less of it. This is the corner of the Western Tower, and that's actually everything that remains of the church. Apparently it used to be pretty tall and give a striking silhouette to Sigtuna. And yeah, it's still pretty tall. These are the ruins of St. Paris Church, St. Peter's Church. I have a slight suspicion, just very, very slight, that someone else has used that church name. This one is slightly more intact than St. Lars's church ruin. And look, there's even a proper roof here. Ooh, amazing. <laughs> Sigtuna was quite cosmopolitan back in 1000 AD. They had trade with people from Poland, Russia, Ukraine and the Black Sea. So yeah, quite a big little city of a thousand people. Nowadays it's a quaint little town with uh, actually about the same amount of people. So not much has changed in a thousand years. Well, okay, maybe a few small changes. Ah, it sounded better in my head. <laughs> I also want to have a hard picture. That's bloody awful. <laughs> this is Klockbacken, a popular place for Sig tuners to walk the dog and burn hot dogs. This bell tower on the hill is actually a reconstruction because the original burned down in 2016. Anyone home? I hope no one opens. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this look at Sigtuna, Sweden's oldest still remaining town. So like and subscribe, but most importantly, have a great day.